Hey church, how are you? Trust your year's going really excellently. We're starting a new series. We're, we're talking about a new thing. I want to talk to you today about breakthrough. On Monday, the 9th of January, breakthrough. 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1 says this. In the spring, at the time when kings go to war, David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole Israelite army. They destroyed the Ammonites and besieged Rabbah, but David remained in Jerusalem. The Bible sets off here and it says in the springtime, which speaks of a season of change. It speaks of, of a new dawning, a new era, a new moment. And you know what? In, in every new moment, there's an opportunity for breakthrough. I really believe that this year in 2023, that it can be a season of breakthrough. The reason we had our New Year's Eve service, New Year's Eve night, praying into the new year. The reason that we have our Nights of Fire coming up in March with Pastor Agu from Jesus House, with uh, Bishop John Francis from Ruach in London, with J. John. The reason we have these Nights of Fire is we're believing for breakthrough. The reason we're having a season of prayer and fasting is we're believing for breakthrough. And I think it's important to understand in seasons of breakthrough that the spiritual outworks in the natural. It does in so many ways. And I think as soon as we realize and recognize that everything is spiritual, the sooner we recognize everything is spiritual, the sooner we can determine what our spiritual response will be. The spiritual response may be something that we do naturally, but it's not normal. And I believe that we have to train ourselves to think spiritually. Sometimes the arguments and the challenges that we face, even with people, personality differences, challenges in the workplace, um, blockages and obstacles in, in finances and in opportunity, sometimes, or a lot of the time, it's actually a spiritual thing. And we have to learn as spiritual beings, we have to learn firstly how to get a spiritual breakthrough, because as we get a spiritual breakthrough, we in turn can begin to see a natural breakthrough with all those things. So maybe I can ask you right now, where are the challenges? Where are you finding you're in conflict? There's war, there's battles raging. Stop for a moment. Think about it. It's probably spiritual. Now, the Bible says this. The Bible says that David sent Joab out with the king's men and the whole Israelite army. He, he in a sense, delegated his responsibility. And I want you to know, church, that in a season of breakthrough in life, there are some things you can't delegate. Firstly, you cannot delegate your spirituality. Don't let other people pray for you. Don't let other people read the Bible for you. Don't let the preacher at church preach the word of God for you. Be a person who has their own spiritual weight. Pray yourself. Read the Bible yourself. Get a word from God yourself. We can't delegate our spirituality. Secondly, we can't delegate responsibility. The reality is this, is that there are some responsibilities that God gives you that are solely for you. It's really the parable of the talents. One man buried the talents, but the other two servants made their talents work. Please, this season, don't delegate your responsibility. If you have responsibility for things, don't give it to someone else. Make it your responsibility and see it come to pass. I also want to say that it's not a season. You, you can't delegate your attitude because to quote the cliche, your attitude determines your altitude. That your attitude, my attitude right now, my attitude is not determined by anybody else, by anything else, by any other circumstance. I am in control of my attitude. You are too. Sometimes we like to put our attitude and, and blame other things. But no, it's our responsibility. Your responsibility is your attitude. And I also think that we can't delegate our response to things. The reality is this, is that we are in control of some things, but most things we're not in control of. One thing we definitely are in control of is our responses, the way we respond to things. So David delegated what he should have been doing to Joab. Because the Bible says, when kings go off to war, and this is where it all went wrong for King David, because he wasn't doing 
what he should be doing. David was a spiritual giant. And yet in this moment, in 2 Samuel 11, he relapsed. Instead of stepping into breakthrough and stepping into favor and stepping into, into increase and influence, what he did was he delegated that which God had given to him to do. The Bible starts off here in the passage that we read. It says this, in the spring, at a time of war, in times of war. And I want to say to you right now, in times of war, be vigilant. This year, friends, in the season of breakthrough, as we're believing for breakthrough, be vigilant. Let me give you nine things about being vigilant. I'm going to be quick. It's not going to take a long time. Number one, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep life simple. Keep, keep family life simple. Friendship simple. Ministry simple. Personal things simple. And, and, and sometimes we, we can be so busy doing so many things that maybe what we just need to do is take a step back and think, okay, how can I simplify things? Keep it simple. Do what you should be doing. Number two, in times of war, be vigilant. I want to encourage you, keep praising. Keep it simple. Secondly, keep praising. Remember, praise is the precursor to breakthrough. Praise ensures you're looking at the right thing. And I want to remind you, Audacious Church, that if you miss the praise at church, you miss the point. Come early. Grab a coffee. Get in for the praise. Don't be habitually late for church. Keep praising. The third thing is this. Keep your mind on the truth. Not feeling, but keep your mind on the truth. What does God say? What does God promise to you? Keep your mind on truth. Truth, truth, truth. Because when you apply truth to your feelings, sooner or later, your feelings catch up to the truth and you begin to live out the truth of God in your life and not get shipwrecked by feelings. We don't know why David didn't go to war, but we do know that in, in, in the circumstances that followed, because he didn't do the right thing, because feelings betrayed him, he ended up committing the most horrible sin with Bathsheba, uh, killing Bathsheba's husband, his, his own personal general. He ended up being an adulterer and a murderer because he didn't keep his mind on truth. He allowed feelings to distract him. The fourth thing in this season is this, keep light accounts. Keep light accounts. Don't allow offense to, to weigh you down. Offense, holding offense against other people will, 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 will shipwreck your faith. It, 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 it will distract you. Keep light accounts. Number five, in a season of breakthrough, keep praying. Ephesians 6.18 says, keep on praying. Prayer is about seeing and saying what God is saying and God is showing. So keep on praying. The sixth thing is this. Keep remembering you're only in a season. Whatever you're going through, it's a season. Seasons come and seasons go. If it's difficult, the season will come to an end. If you're on the mountaintop and it's brilliant, don't think it's all about you and how great you are because seasons come and seasons go. The seventh thing in this season of breakthrough is keep holding your nerve. Hold your nerve, hold your nerve, hold your nerve. Because all of our hopes and dreams lie on the other side of fear. Don't give up. Hold your nerve. Eighth thing is this. Stand your ground. We talked about it just in the new year. We talked about get up. The Bible puts it this way in Ephesians. Having done all else, stand. Stand firm then. Don't sit down. Stand. And the ninth thing in this season of breakthrough is keep your eye on eternity. There is more to life than what we see with the natural eye that we can touch with a physical hand. Eternity is here right now. So listen, everybody, in this season, the Bible says in the spring, at the time when kings go to war, don't delegate, take responsibility. It's a season of breakthrough. And we are believing with you together as a church that not only we will we corporately see breakthrough, but you will see it too. Love your church. Keep praying. Keep believing. Keep fasting. And let's see breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen.